everybody. Hi. Now we are at the Jingdongshan in East China's Jiangxi province, and together with me is Wafa. Hello, beautiful young lady. <laughs> and and as you can see, we have arrived at this place. It is called the Maoping Former Revolutionary Site Complex. It has more than twenty former revolutionary wow. sites. That's great. So we're gonna learn a lot of history today. Right, sure. So our stop, I think, is the Ba Jiao Lou. Ba Jiao Lou. Yeah. That's the former uh, residence of Mao Zedong, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. So Go shall check we? It out? Yeah. Step inside and take a closer look. Let's Go. Go. We are inside the bedroom of yes. Chairman Mao Zedong. I think Chairman Mao used to sit in front of this table, yeah. uh, during, especially during the night, uh, to write some articles and mm -hmm. thinking about the future of China Revolution. And this is where all the, the words was happening, right? Right, exactly. And, and you can see from here, there are actually two uh, works written by Chairman Mao Zedong. Uh huh, perfect. So, and then in the evening, we went to that night show. Um, so it was more like a history class, but done in an interesting way. It was pretty impressive, actually. It was telling the story of the Red Army and how did it start and how did it leave the city, um, starting the Long March. Um, and a lot of like touchy stories in between, which were great actually to watch. Um, so you're getting all like the, it's not all in details, but you're getting like the whole like story. Even if you don't understand Chinese, it had like, English subtitles up there that you can read and follow up um, but the acting was pretty good and all the lighting so the impressive part was using like 600 um, performers in the show and um, they're not like professional ones they're just like uh, the descendants of the actual Red Army so it was pretty impressive that was the coolest part Hey guys! Hello! It's us again, and this is our second day of the vlog, and we just got to Ruijin. So, Pipin, can you tell us a little bit about Ruijin? Sure. Ruijin is the former capital of the provisional central government of the Soviet Republic of China. That's amazing! Yeah. I also heard it's the revolutionary site of um, China, right? It's right. a former revolutionary site. Yes, it is, it is actually called the Yeping from the revolutionary side. Let's uh, start with the first one. So, as you can see, from my very little Chinese, that means it's a podium, right? Right. So this is the whole like army square or training base for the army. Sure, exactly. Actually, this area is actually called the Red Army Square. Awesome! And Makes you can sense. see from there, there's another tower. Oh, let's, let's take yeah. a look, let's take a look, let's take a look. And can you see it in the background here, I think? Yeah, the yeah, little thing. You can see, see that. Mm -hmm. It's the Hongjin Die Shi Ji Nian Ta. Okay, that's a long word. It means the Red Army Memorial Tower. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, uh, we're back again and we just got inside the former site of the first congress of the uh, Soviet Republic of China. So this one is education department. As you can see, education department. Let's get a closer look inside. And that's how, how it looks from inside. A cool story that was about uh, Red Well. The main idea behind the well is just to provide uh, clean water for people in the village. Chairman Mao ordered his army to dig this well, which they still use up until now. So people are probably wondering how did China achieve or made such huge achievements over the past years. It's been from one success to another. This is quite admirable. And that has all been done under the leadership of the CPC. It shows you more of the mentality of the Red Army or, or people back then. But it was mainly about people and for people. Like it's the whole mindset of the army back then. 
在二零二一年这个中国共产党成立一百周年的重要时间节点，我们安排这样一次行程，主要是想让更多的国际友人对中国共产党有一个更深入的、更直观的了解。整个的行程安排下来，我觉得不管是对国际友人还好，还是对其他朋友来说，都是一次很重要的一个收获和体